Okay, in today's lesson, I'm going to do a neurographic drawing, which it's a bit of an exercise, but it's something that helps relax the mind and get you into kind of a, a flow, a creative flow state where other ideas can percolate. I'm gonna, uh, or bubble up. I'm going to use a Sharpie. You don't have to use a Sharpie, but the only rule, if there is one, is you're gonna start drawing a line. You wanna fill the whole page. Any kind of line is fine. It can be organic, it can be angular. And the line is gonna cross. You're gonna get shapes. You wanna keep the shapes kind of big and um, you can only use one line. And I'm picking Sharpie because I have to commit to it. I can't get in there with an eraser. Okay, so I'm gonna start here at one corner. And that looks about right to me. That looks pretty good. I don't want to get much smaller than that, and you'll see why. So the next part of this um, activity, this is where it gets confusing. So you're going to do, let me just do it, and then I'll explain. So wherever the lines cross, we want to smooth out um, those hard edges. So from here to here, you could sort of think of it as like a letter U. You're gonna go here, 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 here. You're smoothing the flow. All right. And I can't really do anything here. There's no other cross points, right? And I kept mine simple, otherwise I might be here for like 30 minutes just doing all of this, right? So each, this area here, think letter U. You're kind of making these letter U's and then you're filling in. get all of them, that's okay. So what's happening as I'm doing this, it's kind of repetitive, I have to do the same thing. It's kind of mindless. We want that. This is gonna be part of getting into the creative flow. We gotta do something repetitive and mindless where we forget about the day, about making this perfect, okay? So now I have this structure, and this is what after, um, I'm not going to do this, but you can fill this, I'll call it a tableau, with anything. You could, you could fill it with repeat pattern marks. You can paint in some of the sections with acrylic paint or watercolor. You can add collage material. So that will be your next step. And then it'd be great if you could submit your images. Um, yeah, we're off for a week, but if you submit them, I'll take a look and maybe add a brief comment. And so it's our warm up, and it's going to sort of give me information about you. So you could do patterning, again, color, collage. 
objects, whatever you want. You can turn it around. Maybe there's a different different direction you like it better at. Um, so that is the neurographic drawing assignment.